Hey guys, I hope that you're all doing well and welcome back. Let's play some more EU4 Forever Golden. We own basically all of the New World. We own a lot of this. We need to admittedly get more in here. We could maximize our finances if we really wanted to. Don't care a whole lot. I mean, it's really not that bad. I think we're really doing okay. Um, I do want you to leave me a comment down below and let me know what you guys think would be a great campaign to do after this one. Um, I've actually been leaning towards uh, releasing and playing the Island of Man and going, or the Isle of Man, and going for the Empire of Man achievement. But let me know what you guys think about that. Um, I want to keep it somewhere in Europe, but uh, not HRE because we're waiting on 1.30 to do anything really HRE. So, also... You can say hi to my pup. If he starts whining in the background, I apologize. It's because he's a whiny baby and his mom is trying to uh, get her hair dyed. And he's going to be bumping my cam and all that stuff as well. So, Apologize for the, uh, you know, the unprofessional this and that. Alright, cool. Regardless. Let's see here. We're at war with some New World natives. People are going to be joining in here or not. Buy network construction for half off. Um, we already have a trade guy for half off, so it's fine with me. Um, we are going to attack Morocco because I need to start working my way through here. Transferring Alexandrian trade node is going to be huge to us as well as getting some men over here. Like realistically, I should be transferring from here. And s oh, we actually have a guy, so we can transfer here. It's going to help us over in Genoa. I'm going to need to start really, really expanding over here because I haven't a whole lot. Is Naples a state? It is. No, it's not. Sardinia is a state, and this is not upgraded either. Let's take a look here. Oh, I don't know what I just built. Man, that's always the most annoying thing. Counting house, stock exchange. So let's actually go ahead and get rid of a couple of these guys, free up some cash. See if we can make ourselves a, a couple of really good um, dudes here. So we we need Genoa. That's the main thing we need. So let's get some extra trade power over here in Genoa. Yes, please. This is all Genoa. Oh, baby. Oh, my goodness gracious. Yes, this is going to be huge. Um, cool. As for this one, we might as well build those there. There we go. Cool. And that's going to give us a lot more money, I think. And then we'll be able to also build some guys up here as well and maximize our income in the uh, English channel. So let's take a look here and sort these guys by type. Great Britain has 103,000 men, which is incredible. I want you guys... To, actually, I want everybody to just... Attack. Caribas. Cari. Caribas. I don't know how to pronounce that. But, anyways, they are bankrupt, basically. Nope, they're not. They just have no men because they're worthless. That's fine. So, that's weird that the uh, the British colony s sent uh, a bunch of their things over there. But, anyways, let's take a look at where we're at. As for what we need to do to continue, the Universal Monarchy, we need to either be the Emperor or dismantle the empire. The way that we were gonna do this is we are going to, we need to be at war with Ravensburg, Bohemia. Oh, mine's, so Ravensburg. So who are you allied to? He's allied to neither of them. Hmm. So I was under the impression that attacking him would be best in allying mines. Let's go ahead and improve relations with them. We also have our flagship. Let's have you guys. Hmm. We want these guys to be protecting trade because they're steering a decent amount of trade over to the English channel that we want to make sure that we have. And I want to... Um, our flagship is for trade. So let's go ahead and get you down there as well. And then we want to also bring in some more trade ships, of course. So probably about... Oh, we need some money, right. Well, we can wait a couple of months. So these guys are gonna get stomped. There's not really much, I don't really intend on doing much to help them, realistically. I mean, 
these guys can send some men over. I'm not I'm not really gonna do a whole lot. So let's have you guys group up over here in uh, West March and have them get uh, grouped up. Here we go. Nope. And we'll have you guys dropped off over here in like um, Antwerp. Very good. They're actually good to hang, hang out there. We're not going to Royal Mary Bohemia because he will not be our ally for long, as a matter of fact. We may actually attack him directly. Oh, he's our ally. So, here's here's the way that this would work. He would call in Russia. Hmm. Russia's at war. Hmm. If we can get... So, who, who else are you ally to, Russia? Wallachia. So, let's just say we were going to attack Wallachia. Russia would not join... Because he's already at war with me. Mm, that doesn't actually help me, though. Um, you are allied to the Pope, man. I need to attack somebody who's in the HRE. Bohemia would account, attack and be a co-belligerent. Um, I would be able to use Austria, the UK, and my own men. As, well as, I was, as long as I'm allied to mines, and he's not allied to mines, I need to get Ravensburg in there. So I think attacking Silesia is still the right call. Um, so let's just see what's going on with that. Let's go ahead and recall this dude here. Uh, we just need to finish up these wars over here. So we're at war with a bunch of these dudes over here. Just kind of annoying because they're not going to siege them down. So we're going to... Cool, I love losing free stab. So we're going to make ourselves available to come up here. Go ahead and get some, uh money there we go free points is always good let's go ahead and spend it literally all on devving up these uh the stuff over here what does wool actually do i wish it told me right there there we go that's good enough for me and that's all going to increase the trade is here over here as well. Um, and then, let's see. Definitely are going to want to build as many manufacturers as we can. That is going to increase our trade. It's it's going to exponentially increase our money, and it will pay itself off within a few years. So um, that's fine. So these guys are over here. These guys are over here. Um, I need to wrap up this war before I can go to war with Bohemia. So let's go ahead and do that. These guys are getting sieged down, unfortunately. It looks like they're New Castile, so our Mexican our Mexican friends are coming up to help out with that one. Very good. He'll just convert all his stuff for him as well. There we go. Let's have you guys go ahead and siege that one down as well for me. Particularist rebels, were those mine? Florida particularists. I don't necessarily care about that. I think they just had some more, so it's all good. We just need to win this siege, and I think we'll be able to uh, take them all out, so very good. So that should be everything. Yeah, cool. Go ahead and annex everybody that we're at war with. None of it will stay to me, and uh, for some reason California gets that and New Castile gets this. So that's great. Um, and that means I am no longer in an offensive war, so he will ally me. We will attack him. Bohemia and Ravensburg will join. Mines will stay my ally, as far as I know, because he's not allied to him. Okay, let's try this out. This is going to be a pretty big war, actually. Um, I don't know if it's going to necessarily be a big deal as far as, like, we're in danger or anything like that. But uh, definitely something we're going to need to. So we need to make sure that we siege this down. Um, let's go ahead and have these guys... Yeah. Let's go ahead and recruit an admiral and have you guys come on in here. And... Uh, send you guys over here 
And we have everybody's got a general. We got a coalition starting up. Just fine. I don't think it's gonna fire. Uh, as long as France doesn't join, I honestly couldn't care very much less. I don't think it would fire regardless. Basically, it just makes it harder for us to expand normally. So let's go ahead and get you guys down here, actually. If they want to stand on that fort, they certainly can be my guests. I want to get there before the end of the month so I don't get that reinforcement tick, though. Very good. They're going to reinforce, but this is mountain, so regardless, they're going to get a negative two to everything. So we lost, and they took so... Wait, hold on, what? Okay, yeah, this game's bullshit. Regardless, that was fine for us. That was a good fight. Um, they just did what the AI does and flooded their men in, so... We're good. So let's have you guys head on in there and have you guys head up there. Everybody's joining a coalition. We should probably build some more men to prevent it from firing. So, we have plenty of cannons. I think we just maybe need a little more men in the front lines, if anything. Let's take a look here. Uh, we can certainly afford it. Um, so let's go ahead and... Yeah. yeah, let's just recruit some mercs. That's fine. Where are these guys going? All the way over there. It's fine. We will... Let's just go ahead and use our mill points to siege it down. Reform our colonial administration. Everybody loses reform desire. Or everybody gets extra production efficiency, global trade power. And then they like me less. Oh, that's fine. <laughs> I mean, none of them are disloyal except for maybe New Castile, who we can just... Uh, and some admin and keep them loyal, so we're good. Let's get you guys over here. How far off are we from New Tech? Still 10 years, so we can we can certainly use our points for that. That's fine. Um, I need to actually. Hmm. Yeah, ideally our vassals don't lose any men. We are at war with Pope Man as well. Okay, very good. Let's just win a couple of these sieges. So, the long story short is that I need to occupy Ravensburg and Prague, and that's it. And then we click the button, peace out the war, doesn't matter. Though we can take land from Bohemia because he's a co-belligerent, so we can take basically probably this entire, all of this here, since we have land in this state, and then we have land in this state, and then we'll probably give him whatever this is. So this is Bohemia, and we'll give him, we'll probably give Austria all of this. And that way I don't have to core up anything. I literally lose nothing from it. And, uh... Yeah, that's fine. I wish we had better generals. He can probably reinforce. Um... Yeah, they're just gonna keep on reinforcing, but they broke that siege off, so that's fine with me. And then they're gonna take an attrition tick with all those men there, so... I don't know, man. Late game like this... Whoa. Just a bunch of... Oh, right, yeah. No, this is all just rebels that popped because we annexed a bunch of land, and now they're the, they're just the old tags. That's all. Cool. So they should get all sorted out. This shouldn't be much of a problem. Let's go ahead and get you guys onto Prague. Let's have you guys join up over here with these guys. We're going to make a big old doom stack. Big old doom stack. Wahhabism. Okay, yeah, we just need to occupy Prague and then we win. Okay, very good. We actually should be able to pretty handedly win this. We're gonna take some serious attrition, but that's all fine and dandy. Let's go ahead and put uh Hmm. Neither of them are that good. So let's just see what kind of leaders they are. Francisco, you may lead. Give them a nice attrition tick, and then we go in and burn them all down. Burn the heretics. Um, and then you guys can head on over there. You guys can head on over there. 
and you guys can head on over there. And now we'll just full siege him down and we win. And that's all there is to that. And uh, that's easy peasy, right? Make sure we're continuing to build this. In our vassals' lands is fine as well because it will directly contribute into land that they are trade that they're sending over to Sevilla and the English Channel. Think of it this way: we own both of the major end trade nodes right now, Genoa and the English Channel, and then Sevilla actually has more than more than both of them. And so we we actually have. Think of it this way: he has most of the trade power here, but I have a lot of it as well. We have almost all. We have most of Genoa. Um, so our trade income has gone up substantially since we built those extra trade buildings over there. So we're doing good. We're doing quite good. Um, Normandy needs stated eventually as well. These guys aren't negative 99. Beautiful. Actually, they have really good siege ability. Cool. Let's go ahead and siege down some forts over here. This guy doesn't have a siege pip, which is kind of a bummer. Oh, we won Prague, so now we can actually click the button. Hey. So let's make sure that that is less than one member of the HRE, or it doesn't exist. Now we'll just give us prestige. So, in order, so here's something you can do. We're gonna gain 100 prestige. So what we want to do is we want to make everybody as loyal as they possibly can be. These guys are fine. They're never going to be disloyal. Like New Castile, they're always going to be problematic, so we might as well just give them some power. And then maybe even a bit more, you know? And then just for good measure... Oh, right, you can't do it for them. But, uh... Hmm, actually... I do need to get an extra merchant from the East African. Admittedly, I haven't really been uh, super involved in all that. There is no more HRE. We will gain more prestige that we don't need. Um, so let's just go ahead and give everybody a little bit of uh, play K play K, play K, and there we go. Now we click the button, and we'll still have like 90, and we're good to go. There's Charles, Carlos, and then uh, Kingdom of New Granada. I just have to kill off these, va these guys here, so let's just go ahead and do that. Have you guys handle them, and then we're gonna end up attacking these guys as well. And then we'll be able to uh, start really putting the crunch down on this stuff, so. Let's get you guys over here and get you guys over here. We're going to want to take all of this land and we're going to give it... Oh, we lost Catholic Empire. Oh, the history of Spain. Oh, I was looking at for triggered modifiers. East Indian trade route. That's cool. Occupation of Rome, I don't want. Subjugation of the Papacy, I do not want. But I would also like to start getting some extra merchants, so... You guys know, I'm sure, that it's about that time we went to war with the Ottoman. This has been something that's been a long time in the making. People have been actually commenting about it for quite a while as well. Like, hey, when are you going to attack the Ottomans? Soon, my... Soon, my dears. Soon. So, this is the truce we want with this one. Uh, we probably actually want to take this as well. So let's go ahead and uh, get a couple extra trade points... Or, no, uh, war score so, is the word I'm looking for. You guys up in Berlin. It's only a level 2 fort. Army professionalism is good. And uh, let's get you guys down here. We're going to end up taking those two as well. We can let him out of the war. He is going to break his alliances with everybody. We're going to end up wanting this land, so we want him to... Yep, this is fine. Bohemia is going to be a non-factor moving forward. Mentua is in this war. I actually forgot about him. Gonna want to piece him out sometime soon as well. If we want to go sit in Vienna, we can walk up there with Franco. Okay. Let's get you guys at least somewhat grouped up and go take care of these armies over here. That should be an easy win for us. 
beautiful. These guys are ready to get annexed, and they shall. There we go. You guys need to get declared on as well. Just need to clean up those borders in South America. As I, I say, as I have these borders up here. <laughs> so let's have you guys head on down this way. And then let's have you guys head on down this way with, um, uh, I guess Lambda. It's fine. We won the Siege of Berlin. Very nice. Who else are we at war with over here? Oh, Magdeburg. Uh, who knew? Oh, let's get you guys on Potsdam. We lost the Siege of Mantua. <gasps> nay, I say. Nay. Keep on converting our vassals' lands for them. Why not, you know? Let's go ahead and get you guys on Mantua. Let's have you guys come on over here. Should be fine. Even if they want to reinforce, I don't think it's going to be a real issue. We might actually be able to even, like, overrun them here. It is farmland, so it wouldn't be in a stack wipe or anything. Austrian pretender rebels, not what I like to see. And they're reinforcing, of course they are, to the point where they're probably actually going to win. So let's go ahead and force march our guys up there. They're going to win. No, we reinforced in one. We're good. Dang, man. Wait, what? Oh my god. How? Cav? Are you going to tell me Cav did that much more damage? Screw that. Screw you guys. You guys are clowns. Get out of this war, you freaking losers. Lame, 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 lame. But you did this and this and this. How could you ever play this game and not do that? <laughs> That's how I feel about that. Anyways. <laughs> we'll still win the war, handedly, might I add. So we're good. Let's go ahead and imperialism these guys. Very good. We'll have to full annex them. We should be good to go. So, as far as what we want, um, basically, I just want all of this. And that's fine. I'd like to probably white piece Mantua, though. That would be ideal. So after we take their capital, we probably can. Jeez, oh, Pete. Got their own rebel issues going on over here. Well... We'll get that sorted out for them. We don't need to worry. As long as Vienna doesn't fall to these rebels, we'll, we won't have any problems there. Um, we're not going to be spending all that Diplo on that. So let's just go ahead and... There we go. That's fine. Win the Siege of Parma, please. I'm so sick of these Moroccan guys raiding my coasts. I'm going to kill them all. A lot of rebels just popping up randomly. Literally none of them are mine. It's all in my vassal's lands. So these guys over here are going to be problematic. Let's have you guys... Go ahead and take, him, take them over here. Um, over here instead. Lambda, I suppose. I really want to win this one siege here. That would be great. There we go. Let's go ahead and just white piece Mantua, or at least have him yeah, break that alliance there, make it easier to kill him, and then we'll take all of that, and then all of his money. Beautiful. And I just need to finish up coring all this stuff, and then I can give it, or finish up these wars, and then I can give it back to him. Uh, so Russia's actually getting beat up on... Oh, I wonder what our participation has been. Oh! Just from our vassals, 50%. I love that. <laughs> That's really funny, actually. Let's go ahead and head these guys down there. Kill them off. And then... Um, these guys are not going to do too well here. They'll probably actually full annex them, realistically. I don't want this land, so you can give that to Scandinavia. Get me out of the war, please. Smolensk, we can give to Scandinavia as well. I don't really want to hold any of this land that I'm currently holding. So we're going to want to split these guys up. Okay. 
These guys are going to have this navy come and grab them. Where's my big navy at? There you guys go. Come on down here. Base production for legitimacy. It's fine with me. I don't care. I'm not going to quarry any of this. I'm going to give this all over to Austria. Ostmark. There we go. More noble rebels, of course. Why wouldn't we have noble rebels? Go ahead and have these guys go on in there. Yes, I will see take their capital and pay for war. Um, what's it called? Professionalism, I should say. Go ahead and wrap these guys up over here. Just need to win some forts. Fulani, Separatists. There's so many rebels, man. I'm gonna end up needing to take care of basically all of them as well, which is just such a pain in the ass, but... There we go. Let's go stack wipe those guys, and then we will go handle these noble rebels for him as well. Keep on converting for them as well, because we're good benevolent overlords. And um, peace out both of these wars, and I'll just separate piece this one if I need to. I don't care a whole lot. Switzerland has left the coalition. Very nice. And there we go. There we go. Beautiful. That is a nice looking Spanish Peru. We can now go with Incan Hordes, which will get us permanent claims on some more stuff. Lima, at least level 3 center of trade. Interesting. Cool. So I'm just going to go ahead and white piece out of there. We're going to go ahead and give you a level 3 center of trade. For this one, which will give us... Uh, Lima will become the new place. Bunch of goods produced modifier for 15 years. Very nice. We are well on our way. Now I just need to do a couple of spend some points over here kind of deal. So just need to... Do a couple of these guys here, right? There you go. Hear my dog burp down there or something? Where are these guys at? Come on now. Colonial Columbia. There we go. There we got that one. Diplo points and legitimacy and liberty, desire, and subjects. And it moves their capital as well. Very good. All right. So let's just take a quick scroll down. We are looking really good. And we just need California. Send some colonists. Let's actually recall. Send something that's going to give them a little bit of extra oomph. Let's go ahead and send some Algerians over there. And uh, where are we at now? Fortify Florida. Three provinces with high level forts. So there we go. Go ahead and put like one there, one there, and like one down here in Miami. We, sh we should probably go ahead and um, give this dude some forts over here. It's going to be good for him. Uh, like these guys will protect everything else around there. Um, where did his capital move to? Right here in Bogota. Let's go ahead and uh, build some forts for them as well. That's it. Cool. New Granada will now never have issues with that again. Cool. Well, that's going to do it for this one. So I hope you guys are enjoying. And if you are, please show your support and leave a like. And uh, subscribe to the channel if you haven't already. Over half of my viewers are not subscribed. So if you like what I'm making, click the subscribe button and ding the bell. And it'll send you a notification when I upload. And uh, if you'd like to check out the Discord or support what we do on our Patreon page, the links for both of those are going to be in the description below the video. And with all that being said, this is Chewy Shoot. And I'll catch you guys later.
A big special thanks to Bloodbound92, Valentel, CWG, Dutch Terror, J Clampett, Yodaldo, Classified for Life, Corbett Gaming, Michael Walker, Palmer, Jonathan Crane, Airborne Animal, and all my other awesome supporters on Patreon. I appreciate you guys. Check out the two series linked on the left and the right, and don't forget to subscribe.